What's up, everyone? I hope everybody had a good week. Sorry, I've been a little busy. I filed my uh, petition in the Supreme Court today, or not today, but a couple days ago, so I've been busy with that. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at the uh, probability calculator for AMC and GME, and then take a look at the options chain for the two stocks as well um, by looking at the entire chain. So let's go ahead and take a look at AMC um, for probability calculator. Come on, Fidelity. But yeah, I mean, obviously the stock saw some pullback this week. Um, not surprising. We did run quite a bit. So let's go ahead and do AMC first to take a look for what we can expect for tomorrow. Let's go to 517. And the calculator thinks we're going to have a 75.52 chance to close above where we did today at 464. Um, so that's good news. We're down 15% today. We're on SSR or the short sale rule. And it is, I believe, the, sh the settlement window. Let's take a look at that as well. FINRA, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, FINRA settlement. Short interest. Let's take a look and see. So today is the 16th, uh, 2024, May. Yeah, so May 17th, tomorrow, is the last day of the settlement window. It's the due date. It's tomorrow. So again, AMC, GME like to run around these settlement windows. So keep that in mind. You could see something tomorrow. Maybe not. But either way, calculator thinks so. And that's a 75-52% chance. Now let's talk about GME here. And a little bit higher. Well, that's for today's date. Let me change it for tomorrow. So a little bit lower, actually, for GME. Closed at 27.67. 62.68% 67, uh, chance. Same thing applies for GME regarding... Um, the uh, settlement window. So now let's take a look at uh, the options chain real quick. We're going to use GPT to help us uh, analyze the entire options chain. Oh my God, they just keep adding. Oh my God, I love this fucking thing. Anyways, GPT 4.0. Let's go ahead and get the options we need first by doing slash options all. We're going to do AMC. We're going to do GME. Let's go ahead and download these. Downloaded AMC and downloaded GME right there. Okay, now let's go back here and we're going to go ahead and load those. Oh my god, ah, uh, it's amazing. This thing, I, just, I can't do it. Upload from computer. You can put your OneDrive in here. Oh god, and your Gmail or your G Drive. Jesus Louise. Okay, so let's go ahead and do uh, GME's this one. So let's do this. Please analyze all options. Show volume to open interest across all expirations as well as profit potential. I've engineered a lot of data metrics on top of this, uh, on top of the default ones. So there's a lot of added metrics. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of this. Da -da 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 doing the analysis for the open interest and it's going to try to fix it because there's NAND values because some strikes got written today some new strikes that is okay he made another error come on for uh, what are you doing do, 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 do. <laughs> still doing it again okay so we got expiry 517 volume to open interest ratio is 1.2 1.4 so you can see it, it's going down the volume oi ratio basically um then we have the average profit potential across different expirations has been calculated here's a preview so you got 517 about 50 percent and then it goes down from there so let's go ahead and do it a different way let's visualize the profit potential for gme across each expiry for calls, puts, comparison. That way we can get a little bit more insight into which direction it may want to go. Analyzing. Damn, man, look at that mirror image. Okay, so we got yellow line is calls, and then puts are the uh, orange line there. So as you can see here, call profit went up. It's been coming down. 
That's what we may get a little bump uh, between now and uh, July. But then look at what happens in August here. That's what's interesting is because you have it basically down here near zero for calls. And then the calls skyrocket and the puts tank right here between late August into, I mean, really up until like late October. So interesting stuff there. So that's GME. Let's take a look at AMC now, which is this file here. Do the same thing for AMC. And we should get a similar looking chart, I believe. Yeah, look, the AMC options data has a similar structure to the GME options data. Very cool. Holy, okay, that's a little bit different. Okay, so, wow. So it looks like here, 2024, December, AMC skyrockets. Good Lord. Very sexy. But yeah, I hope you found this video interesting. Uh, my grandma's calling me, so I gotta go. She probably needs help. So, y'all have a good one.